My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have here is the Palmali Stove Hut 70 version 2.0. In this episode, we are going to be doing a waterproof test with this shelter. This is a big question mark for this tent. Is it going to leak? This is a product that has had a very bumpy road so far. Already we're on version 2.0, but don't pay much attention to that because there's been more than two versions of this tent. From what I understand, we're on like four or five. And I base this information on comments that I've heard in other videos. There's other channels out there who have tested this tent out, at least the version one. I don't know about version two yet, but they've had interactions with the company and they have received multiple versions of the tent. All of them leak. Again, I'm talking about the previous versions. I'm not talking about the 2.0. If you haven't seen my previous videos concerning this tent, I highly recommend that you go back and watch them because they are exceptionally interesting. The first episode was a waterproof test with the shelter and it leaked like crazy. It was a swimming pool. At that point, the company responded and said that I was a liar, that I had faked all of the results, that the tent did not leak. The problem was this. Everybody knew this tent leaked. There were countless other YouTube channels out there, honest ones who had reported that this tent leaked like mad. Again, some channels had three or four different versions from the company, they all leaked. After a fierce backlash, the company of course said there was a problem and now we have version 2.0. My video, along with other honest YouTube channels, brought to light the issues with the Stove Hut 70 tent. And at the same time, it exposed a number of YouTube channels who were in bed with the company, who were selling these products, they were lying about it. Basically, they were making money off of your commissions and you didn't even know it. Being exposed like this did damage numerous YouTube channels and there was some backlash. Some other channels, they responded, they were upset with me. That made them only look worse. The fact that they couldn't be honest about what they were doing, about pawning these products, it made them look bad. Anyways, folks, in this episode, we have the Stove Hut 70 version 2.0. As I've been talking, I'm sure you've heard the thunder. It is going to rain today. We're going to see if this tent is waterproof or not. I don't know. The big question that we're going to answer in this episode is whether or not this tent leaks. That's what this episode's about. It's not about condensation control, anything like that. It's all about the leaking. As a refresher, everyone, with the previous version, there was a vent underneath this flap. Rainwater was able to make its way down the fly, through this seam here, and into the tent. Hopefully the company has solved this issue. And this could be a tent that I could at least say is waterproof. For this test, I'm going to leave that bottom vent open. And this is the reason why. As you can see here, there's a flap that goes over that vent. It should keep all of the water out. If the company has fixed their issues, no water should be able to ingress inside of the tent through that flap. You may be wondering if I harbor any hard feelings towards Palmali, and the answer is no. Think of it as like someone calling you a name who cares? I don't care. I don't care at all. What I care about is keeping my viewers safe. What I do here with the channel is this. I present information and that's it. You can make up your own mind. I don't care if you buy it. I don't care if you don't buy it. It means nothing to me. What I care about is giving you all as much information as possible so you can make an educated decision. So in this episode, even though the company handled themselves extremely poorly, my focus is completely subjective. The product will speak for itself. And with that being the case, everyone, let it rain, let it rain. Let's see whether or not this tent leaks. All right, folks, it rained for about 15 minutes there, moderate rain. Let's go ahead and check on this tent real quick. Let's see if it leaked. All right. I do not see any sort of leaking here. Nothing's wet. I don't feel any dampness along this seam, and I don't feel any on this one. Let's check the top. Nothing up there either. 
While that wasn't much rain, it was a good downpour, a good initial start to this test. More rain is on the way. Let's see what happens. I cannot wait to open up this tent to see whether or not it has leaked. That was a good rain event and a good test for this tent. It looks like the rain is beginning to slack off, so here in a minute we'll check on the tent. Did it leak? I'm going to say no. That's my guess. What's yours? Before we go inside of the tent and check on it, take a look here at the body. You can see how it's begun to sag some. That's because the materials and the cords have begun to stretch a little bit. To some degree, all textiles will sag, including polyester and nylon. And just because a tent begins to sag doesn't mean that it's going to leak. It doesn't mean that it's a bad setup. It's something that you will have to deal with when you're in the outdoors. And it doesn't matter if your tent costs $600 or $150. All right, everyone. Let's take a look. You may be surprised by this, but the tent did not leak. While I didn't like the way that Palm Molly handled the issues with the previous versions of this tent, I am glad to see that this tent is waterproof. The thing about Palm Molly is this. I like their tents. Even in the previous waterproof test, the same test that got them so upset, I stated that I like their shelters. I have personally purchased numerous tents from them. In fact, I purchased this one and the previous version and other tents. There's not many companies out there who are thinking outside of the box when it comes to their designs. Palm Molly is one of them. With the Stove Hut 70 2.0, it is waterproof. They went back to the drawing board, they fixed the problems. So in the end, it's a win for everyone. With the channel here, I never tell people what to do, so I'm not going to tell you whether or not you should buy this or not. What I have done is presented some information about this tent. This tent has been out in the rain for numerous hours, some of that rain very heavy, some of it being windblown during a thunderstorm, and this tent has not leaked, even with the vent open. And with that, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel. More information and testing about this tent is coming up and ultimately my review. Before you go, everyone, comment down below and share your thoughts about this tent. Did it match your expectations? Would you consider purchasing from this company even after all that they've done to the outdoor community? Make sure to hit the thumbs up before you go. It does help the channel. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.